Are you leaving already? Yep, that's what I was gonna we say. We need to investigate the cemetery. Yep, we'll be back though. You'll she'll probably still be sitting there. Let's go investigate that. What will you do for my Charles? If he's present, we'll find him. Then we'll ask him what he wants us to do. Must I see him too? First, let's find out what happened. After that, we'll see. Best get started. Time may be against us. Yeah, plus he probably doesn't want, you know, a lot of people knocking on his tombstone. Like, you might want some privacy. Maybe we should go up one by one. You'll be all right. I doubt it, but I'll do my work all the same. We came here to help Charles and help Charles with Shell. <sighs> Ask around. See what people will tell you. I'll go to the cemetery and do the same. Okay. Uh, I mean... Be careful. Hi. You too. I was gonna say it's that's a good thing, you know. It's I don't know if it's a good thing we're splitting up though. Okay, to find the location of your next objective, open your map. What the heck kind of button is that to open up your map? Is that this one? That's not that one. This. Yeah. Oh, that's cool. So we gotta go here. Landfall. Chronicle objective. Investigate the cemetery. Okay. Why is that? I don't like that the map button's there. See, this is my point. I gotta I gotta change some stuff. Well, I guess it's technically telling us that. It's there. It's probably... Yeah, it shows on here. That is cool. Okay. So, first thoughts on the game. I think this is really cool. I've always liked... What the heck? Yeah, there we go. I've always liked games like this. I mean, it's very hard to commentate, obviously, on games like this because every two seconds you're getting, like, interrupted. Like, for example, I need to talk to this dude, but it's probably a good idea. Let's, let's just, you know, corner him first just so we can get right in his face. Get out of my way. God. I actually was in his way. That was the funny thing. Man, these games are so good. How did it know? Okay, what's this? Warning, the docks are closed for sabotage by fire. All trade to Boston. Marblehead Salem is cut until the saboteur is caught. What? What if it's us? Did we ever think of that? Oh, that's disgusting. A lot of people. Can I just talk to everyone? Oh, sorry, sir. Be warned. I need but cry out, and help shall come in an instant. Calm you, sir. Antea Duarte, Minister Davenport's banisher. Oh, oh, of course, I'm so sorry. Poor Reverend Davenport, his death has shaken us all. Welcome to New Eden. I'm afraid you find us at our worst. We're banishers. There's nowhere else we'd rather be. And you are? I, madam, am Squire Sincere Paris, traveling merchant, stuck in this cursed place and eager to be somewhere else. About the curse, wait, didn't we already see this stuff? Well, I guess everybody probably has their own take on it. We'll say about the curse. Tell me about the curse, if you will. Well, I'll tell you this. Those who dare defy the curse are brave indeed, and I fear foolish. Banishing is a job, sir. And to do it, I need detail, wow. if you please. A banisher must have charms. A trinkets, I mean, of protection. If you have a surplus, I'd happily relieve you of your burden. That's not how it works. This guy is not very complying, is he? What I need is information, buddy. What I need right now is information about the curse. What have you seen that might help me with my work? I've seen famine, madness, the shadow of early death. Weather, too. So much weather. I mean, I've seen it all before, but never all at once. Here, it's everything, everywhere, and all at the same time. Folks stay indoors, waiting to be told what to do. Waiting to die, really. Ghosts in the making, all of them. Uh, do you have any bad dreams? The nightmares. Do you get them too? Of course I do. Not everyone will admit it, but we all have bad dreams. Of what do you dream? I dream someone watches me sleep. I sometimes fancy she's present when I'm awake. She never speaks, nor moves. 
She seems to wish me no harm. She just stands there, watching me, waiting, taking my measure. Does she manifest at a particular hour? If she does, I have no way of knowing it, unable as we are in this interminable grey to tell day from night. Well, there you are. Information on the curse, as per your request. <laughs> I won't even charge you for it. Oh my gosh, this dude. I don't like this guy. Um, show me your wares. Care to trade? Most of my goods are already packed, but I never refuse a deal. Mm hmm I like that. Okay, so... Oh, did we buy anything? What's this? A sturdy piece of leather can be found in the dark woods. The dark woods? But is, this is all the stuff that I have, right? Yeah. So, we can sell this stuff, but is he gonna give us money? I mean, if he wants to take this stuff, I'll give it to him. Can I? I don't I'll give all of it. Why not? No, you know what? No, let's give about half. Let's give seven. I mean, because I don't want to sell everything. I don't know how valuable this stuff actually is. So, I'll sell half of everything. Yeah, I guess because we only have one of that. I think that's that's good enough. Does it tell us how much money we have? Uh, it's this piece of eight. Okay. Can be obtained by selling resources to merchants. Okay. Yeah, that's exactly what we did. Oh my gosh. Every single time. I, like, like, you can't, you have to actually pick here, unfortunately. Okay. You're leaving town? You're leaving town? As soon as possible. Did you arrive by sea? A ship lies at anchor in the bay. Perhaps a captain would take me and my wares to safety. The crew refused to dock, and I suspect they'll leave on the next available tide. We rode ourselves ashore. Might I ask where you abandoned this rowboat of yours? Along the coast, by a path remarkable for its angry spectres and bloody corpses. If you wish to make the sailing, I hope your wares can swim. Yeah, that's our boat. You know, we, we purposely parked it off the grid. And you're not, he's gonna steal my boat, I know it. Goodbye. Just- I bid you good day, Squire Paris. And thank you for your time. A pleasure, Mistress Duarte. Do be careful. He didn't mean it. He really didn't mean that. What happens if, I mean, I've always wanted to try this. You just slash someone with the sword in the game and see what happens. Oh my gosh. How are we like, we're just this breaking fire everything. fire can't have started on its own. Not in this cold. Who started it then? Leather. Okay, so yeah, we're actually picking stuff up now. That's great. Can I go in? No, no, no. I can't. We can't go in. We've go we gotta go to the cemetery though. I'm getting distracted. There's too many things to look at. Eh, move out of my way, sir. I got work to. Oh, sorry. I thought I just slashed him or whatever. Okay, so what do we know so far? The cemetery. We know that Charles is dead. We've known that for a while. This place is haunted. A lot of the NPCs don't like me. And there's rats around the place. And red. So close to town. Is doing his own thing. The cemetery is closed by order of the governor. Well, Mr. Governor, I think I'm gonna have to just completely disobey you deliberately and go in anyways. That's what we're gonna do because Where are you leading me? there's no police anywhere. Just press twice to dodge and press twice to roll. What do you mean to, to dodge? Okay. Oh, that's cool. Jeez. So can I use this? Can I, because I have it all charged up, right? Oh yeah. I mean, to be fair, I probably just completely wasted that. Oh, great. They've got brothers. Oh, that is so cool. I love the combat. Get out of here. Boom, 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 boom. Press C to block. Press C at the last moment to parry. What do you mean at the last? Oh, well, that works. There's so many attacks in this game. That's cool. Oh my gosh, I'm going to have to get used to all this stuff. Oh, and it's like already almost no built up again. Safe here. I'm safe here. I'm safe. I think you mean all of them aren't safe. What's that spectral dust? It's a fine powder consisting of spectral particles that emit a faint glow. I don't mean a f well, what's it used for though? That's what I'm wondering. Oh, is this where we gotta go? Okay, let's inspect. This Most is of these people died fighting. Someone didn't want them here. Yeah, probably the the curse. The person who runs the curse, maybe. Let's take these flowers. There's a lot of plants in this game and stuff. I don't like the fact that I have to destroy everything, though. I don't think we're supposed to be here. <laughs> and Red just left me. He just abandoned me. You know, we're brave. I'll give you that. I mean, I wouldn't be walking at night in a creepy cemetery like this. Insight. As a banisher, you I've can feel places or objects here that have been like ghosts. 
Why does it talk at the same time? When in close proximity to these elements, your bane rings will be triggered and light up with an orange aura. Walk around to find the source. What? Okay, find the nearby spe or spectral mark. Find the place where Charles died. Okay. This could be here. Everyone buried here died in 1677. A previous epidemic? I don't think so. It's probably the same thing. It's just they did some sort of kind of like voodoo thing to, I don't know. They could have done everything. Oh, wait, we got to follow this thing. Yeah. Inspect. A memory lingers here. I might be able to reveal it. Oh, yeah. Now we get to use this thing. Ref uh, perform the ritual. Uh, rituals. Memories of the dead linger here. To reveal them, you must gather the necessary resources. Oh, right. Got pyrite and seashore candles. And where the heck is that? A chunk of faded brass-like ore can be found in the dark woods. Or you can buy it from merchants. What's this? A medium-sized plant with thin, long leaves and star-shaped flowers composed of five yellow petals. Grows close to water. So just remember we need the, the, those two things. Pyrite and seashore candles. Right, do we have to- Seashore candle and pyrite will do the trick for the ritual. Yeah, so I guess we gotta do that. That sucks. Oh, man. We... <laughs> Is this it? Imagine. We gotta leave the cemetery. We can't be here anymore. We gotta make sure we come back, though. I just hope that the game will tell me where it's at, because I likely will forget. Is this where we came in? Are we locked in here? Or is that not where we came in? I don't know. Oh, wait. It's actually telling us, like, where we've got to go. Okay, that makes things a lot easier for me. Well, I'm hoping there's an NPC it's going to guide me to. Oh. There's no way it was guiding me to that crow, right? Can I get down? I think I see what I'm looking for. Oh, I think I might want to go down this way. Aha! Please be it. Yes. yes. Okay, so it, it does tell you exactly where you need to go. That's cool. And look at the look the horizon over there. It's nighttime. It's always nighttime. Of course it is. And how many did it say we needed again? I don't know. Let's check how many we actually have. Uh, let's see sure. We got three. Oh, I sold some of those, didn't I? Oof. We need to find Pyrite to perform the ritual. Oh, hello. Um... Uh, that is a lot of you. Okay, I don't know. Should I take... Yeah, you know what? I'm taking this fight. I'm confident in my abilities, except there there is a lot of you here. It's such a dodge, you just press space once, and then to double, you, like, charge or something. That's cool. Okay, that was easy. I think I'm gonna need some there of this. There must be rocks rich in pyrite around here somewhere. There must be, yeah. I think I know exactly. There's no way you can jump up there. I will be freaking impressed if you can... No, you can't make that jump as expected. You failed me! It's fine. Don't worry. We, we, as soon as our legs, as soon as we grow and get bigger, we'll get stronger legs, okay? Maybe if we munch on this this uh, seashell or whatever flower, we'll get bigger and stronger and we'll be able to. Maybe it's got some protein in it. I highly doubt it. Oh, this is Charles. Why didn't you wait for us, old friend? I swear I'll make it up to you. Well, it is kind of my job too, so I literally have to swear that. So what am I saying? You know those people? Oh, just a sec. Let this Many talk. dead in more recent years. Okay. Yeah, I was gonna say, all the people, or that, that NPC we were talking to, he was like, why did you come about here? Or like, what's the point of your being here? Or I hope you like, you know, haunted places or whatever. I'm like, well, it is kind of my job. It's what I gotta do. It's what I live for, right? So, of course, I'm totally into that stuff. That's what I'm saying, right? He didn't know that. Aha! Uh -huh. Oh, this is what we're looking for. a little more. I need a little more. <laughs> I love that it tells you exactly. It's like, I need a little more. Well, then stick your hand in there and grab that, shall you? Okay, apparently not. You know what would make this game really cool? Is if it had, like, a hunter vision or something. You know how Far Cry? You could, like, turn on hunter vision and you knew exactly where stuff was. But I suppose you see in the top middle of the screen, it kind of tells you where you've got to go. I guess that's kind of like hunter vision. What makes this game also really... It's a lot harder to traverse because you can't jump anywhere you have to kind of walk around specifically on like any terrain right or the certain terrain who fungus got more of that so let's go over here we've got a bunch of packs we can pick up too i mean i hope we're not gonna run out of stuff in our inventory though there's so many plants in this game what are all these used for i mean do we just sell them possibly let's go over here we go up this way no, this probably can't be broken, right? No. Can I interact with any of this? 
No. I think what I'm going to have to do, though, is turn down some of my in-game settings. But I'll do that next recording just because I don't really want to get into that stuff now. Because I am noticing the, the FPS is sometimes at, like, over 100. Okay, where am I supposed to go? Oh, okay. We, apparently, we got what we were looking for. But, yeah, the FPS is, like, sometimes over 100. And it sometimes goes down to 30. It's, like, such a big difference. And it's, like, what the heck? So, hopefully, everything's working out okay. Select a ritual. Yeah, I think I already saw that, right? To reveal the memories, you need to perform a hearkening ritual. Okay, let's go previous. Ministers can perform rituals. The nature of the site determines which rituals should be performed. Performing a ritual consumes resources even if you select an incorrect... So how do I say it? Oh, okay. I think we have to do the hearkening, don't we? Reveal an echo. This ritual helps one to tune into a fading but persistent memory left by a lingering ghost through compelling words, carving, or drawing of the Leo constellation. I'm going to do that one because I think it said that we needed to do hearkening. But what's make me, you know, we'll read all that eventually once we actually need to do it. Makes sense, right? Because I don't want to spoil it. You know what I'm trying to figure out? Why the heck do we need all these In materials? Each stain hides a story. Like, I didn't see us putting any rocks around this place. <laughs> like, there's rocks everywhere, though. Oh, great. Um, oh, is that... Is that Charles? In the name of the Lord, I command you. Be gone from this place! God, Charles is a meanie. Do not command me, clergyman. Who are you, ghost? Unveil yourself! Well, since you ask so politely... What is going on right now? Who are you? I am everything you've ever feared. Be gone! You have no shell, no ties, no purpose. No, but neither do you. What the heck? You hurt his feelings so bad, you're gonna- Oh, why would you say that? Oh my god. He's just crawling away. What do I do? Am I supposed to just says perform the ritual? Oh no. Oh! Oh! What the heck is wrong with you, woman? Are you- you're- Oh my god. Damn it. That thing he faced. What was it? That, my dear, would be the curse, I'm pretty sure. Oh, wow. Things just keep getting better and better, don't they? We found ourselves a Bible. Let's get that. Charles intent. The tie that binds his ghost. Obtained. Oh, see, look at this. Look at all this stuff. These are all hints. Charles tried to make the spirit manifest. He failed. Charles was worried about the influence the threatening spirit had on the settler's dreams. So these are like clues, I think, right? With it, I can make him manifest. Yeah. Back to his grave, then. Where exactly was his grave? I think it was close. I don't think it was far off. But it tells ya. Look at that. That's so cool. Let's go this way. I'm wondering what Red is getting up to. He's probably selling a bunch of things. He's giving us a lot of money because we don't really have a place of residence here. I don't think so. Yeah, hopefully he's getting us that dough, you know, that bread, if you will. Select a rich ritual. Wait. Wait a second. It said, make the ghost manifest. Uh, manifest, right? Yeah. Okay, imagine I click the wrong one. Oh, <laughs> no. Now is a good time for we old friends to talk. We've come too far, Red and I, not to see you one last time. Your pupil has become the master. If we fight, I'll beat you. So were we just seeing a vision before of what happened to Charles? Come on, Charles. Join me now. I know you're here. He's probably thinking, why the heck do you want me back? I, like, just left. I'm, you know, having a, a party in heaven right now. Yeah, I'm busy I know having lunch. Here. Coming another time. You know me, ghost. I only wish to talk. 
Esther worries. And I am here at last. Oh, poor Esther. I'm so sorry, my friend. So sorry for us all. What happened? What's going on here? Sad to say, dear friend. I made a mistake. And it cost me my life. Is Red with you? There is no time to waste. Oh, uh, you know, Red's out watching TV. I think I don't know what the heck he's doing. Imagine he just swims back to wherever we were at first. Okay, all jokes aside. Um, why not wait for our help? Why did you not wait for our help? The threat was rising. Arrogance. Despair growing. There were so many dead, Antea. So much sickened flesh. So many afflicted souls. There was no more time. What did you learn about the curse? So everyone's got a Before different take. Before you died, you investigated the curse. What did you learn? That our enemy is deceptive and merciless. That we should not underestimate its power. We? I am dead, dearest Dantea. But I am a banisher yet. I may still teach you. If I allow you, which I do not. Antea, do not repeat my mistakes. If a nightmare curses New Eden, you need all the help you can get. Its presence felt strongest in the meeting house. Perhaps the light of God there forced it to fight its ground. I had the building closed. The worst of the malevolence is contained. But it won't stay locked up for long. Ah, oh, it's okay. Banish this ghost. Why don't you? We'll banish it. Red and I. Of course Our we will. Our good friend's death shall not go unpunished. Be warned. This nightmare is too angry to be persuaded. And too powerful to be destroyed. Your death pains us greatly. Your return pains me too. Huh? I know. For my part, I'm glad to have seen you one last time. To have had the chance to warn you. You know, well, I think that this is not going to be a problem for Red and I. I think we're going to be able to banish this thing one and for all. Like, these people just don't believe in us. Like, this is our job. We've been doing this for decades. So have a little bit of faith in your peers, please. Aren't nightmares a myth? I thought nightmares were a myth. A nightmare is the rarest of ghosts. A powerful, insidious spirit. Birthed by tragedy most dreadful. How do I banish it? You can't. There is meager wisdom in the texts. What little there is says it cannot be banished at all. If it's a ghost, I can banish it. You took notes, I suppose. Where might I find them? They vanished. <laughs> in the days before my death. Perhaps I mislaid them. Which is not like me. If you find them, read them carefully. Perhaps I missed something. Something important. Okay. Do you know how this curse began? Do you know how this curse began? What prompted it, I do not know. Nor do I know when. Many months ago, certainly. But I do know this. This nightmare chose New Eden for a reason. So, a ghost. This one is different. Implacable. Very clever. Many magnitudes more ferocious than a spectre. And just as relentless. Uh, we probably don't want to go near it. How did this nightmare kill you? So then I know what to not do. How did this nightmare kill you? I believed that I could come to the cemetery and make it manifest. To my initial delight, it worked. I now suspect it came by choice. It seemed amused. As if it were a pleasant game to weigh my measure as a man. What did it look like? Yeah, I'd like to know that. I just saw what a ghost. What did it look like? I... Wasn't it a ghost? I don't know. Don't know. 
When it manifested, it appeared as... Esther. My dear Esther, I did not see its true face, but I heard a woman. Not Esther, someone else. She was laughing. I felt her gaze. My heart froze. I died. The spirit is vengeance pure. The ghost of one who was terribly wronged. I've heard your warning. You can go. No. I must remain. Esther needs my protection. My flock needs me too. You know how this works. You know I won't allow that. I am still myself, Antea. With time, I'll grow stronger. I can help you. The longer you haunt Esther, the hungrier you'll be. You know this. This is different. I'm the Reverend Charles Davenport, your friend and mentor. You know me. You know I am a good man. I knew you. You were a good man. Now you are a ghost, and I cannot let that stand. But I swear it, the nightmare will end, and Red and I shall do the ending. Charles Davenport was a good man, and a fine mentor. And you a fine student, though you took a hard line. I never could unpick that from your character. Has life tempered you since? Life has tempered my steel. Death and the manner of it has made you the very thing you once opposed. Goodbye, Charles. Goodbye, Charles. Peace on your soul. Remembrance on you. Wait. Wait for what? Where the heck did you come from? We're banishers. Death to the dead. Let Esther choose themselves. Oh, Lord. Please don't ask me to do that. Esther, my good wife, and the very best. I miss you so. Oh, dear Lord, Charles, why are you here? Why have you come back? You must leave, please. I must stay. I must protect you. The thing in the meeting house feeds on our torment. I should have known that. I know better now. Antia, give Charlie the ascent he deserves. Oh. Charles Davenport. You have no reason to stay. Go. Let Esther grieve in peace. Goodbye, Charles. Okay, but what was he gonna do anyways, right? Save her, my friend. Because he's dead. And save yourselves. Save them all. I mean, he's got knowledge, but it's not like he could protect us anymore. And where did these two come from? It was quite a far walk, actually. How'd they know I'll where I went? Their home. I'll do it. The women can talk. Uh, then, all the way to the schoolhouse and make the bed. Charles is at rest now. And Taya, she gave him the care he needed. Alright, bye, Red. I'll see you later. So... If Charles waited for us, this whole thing would have been avoided? Be yeah, because there would have been multiple of us. Or multiples, I guess. And the thing that killed him was a... was He said it wasn't a ghost. It's a... Oh, I forget what the term was. A nightmare, I think. Right? And when we... Charles, where do you think he is now? I don't know. He's... I don't know. Exactly. Stop interrupting me. the warmth of his hands. His calm presence in our house. If I close my eyes, I can picture him. He's in a place where sunlight chases the snow away. It is warm and there is fresh milk. The sheets are cleaned and pressed and folded. 
Nothing can ever be the matter. You're right. He's at peace. And you deserve to rest. Oh, we're running now. Okay. I mean, I thought we were going to walk all the way home. That's what I was going to say. That's going to take forever. Yeah, well, so we know for a fact Charles is 100% gone. I don't think we're going to have any contact with him anymore. But at least he gave us some information. Well, the main thing that I got out of that is if we're going to kill this thing or banish it or whatever, we need to have all the help we can get because that we don't want the same fate to happen to us, right? So I don't remember the house being this close. Huh. Okay. I'm sorry. I'll miss him dearly. Tomorrow, we'll continue investigating the curse. Good night, Esther. I am glad you are here. Both of you. We need you. So, will you say goodnight? Join Red at the schoolhouse. Okay. I'm just, let me just go in here to see, make sure this is, yeah, this is the same house. I'm so confused. There's no way. The house was not this close. Well, maybe it was. I don't know. All right, let's go see Red. Is there anything else I can pick up here? Probably not. Red is at the schoolhouse. He's maybe given uh, some students a lesson. Apparently, I got to go out the other door because it's locked from the inside, which is kind of weird. I guess we'll leave Esther here to grieve. I mean, she's been through a lot. I can't even imagine what she's going through right now. Like, that would be awful and such like a sad way to go too. I just wish that Charles had waited for us and this whole thing could have been avoided. But uh, I, I still feel like something bad would have happened with, I don't know. Maybe if Charles didn't attempt to manifest this thing or banish it or whatever, would have killed other people too. I don't know. Hello, ma'am. Good day to you, madam. Antea Duarte is my name. May I ask yours? She's gonna be rude. Duarte. Duarte, you came with the Banisher, did you not? I am the Banisher. <laughs> right. So you're the face of hope, are you? You what my tithes are buying. Let me have a look at you. Oh, right. Well, I hope I'm wrong. Bathsheba Ingersoll, or I was last time I looked. About the curse. What can you tell me about the curse? Did Haskell not lay it out? We freeze. And at the same time, we rot. Minister Davenport said he'd summoned the best banisher there is. Can you lift the curse? In my experience, most curses are actually hauntings. And while ghosts are treacherous, they're not invincible. Everyone's so rude. Well, I'd like to tell you I find that a comfort, but I'm afraid I would be lying. Wow. Just, can we just say goodbye? Do you have bad dreams? It may seem like an odd question, but may I ask if the curse has brought you bad dreams? Every time I close my eyes, I'm in this door. Coins fall from the ceiling. Only a few at first. When they hit the floor, they break. Like rotten teeth. Or finger bones, perhaps. The trickle becomes rain. A cascade smashing down to flood the store. I try to flee, but the flood rises too fast. I drown in shards of broken bone. There. Aren't you glad you asked? Oh, not really. That's kind of an uh, interesting picture about the meeting house. What can you tell me about the town meeting house? The minister closed it down. Said it was dangerous. Imagine. Worship is dangerous now. Do you remember when and why? The when is difficult to say. I admit I've lost track of time with the dullness of the days. Uh, about your store. Tell me about your store. Why? Would you like to buy some china? <laughs> some porcelana? A linen dress? That's about all we have left. You'll be shocked to learn that there is little demand for the finer things in life and we have next to no supply of the staples. I should have gone when I had the chance. I suppose beneath it all, I'm an optimist. And that makes me a fool. I guess goodbye. Thank you. A very good day to you, madam. You're optimistic too, then. Aren't we the fools? <laughs> oh, man. It's like... Come on, I need some more support here. I mean, I'm still dedicated. I don't care what anyone says to me. I guess we gotta... Uh, oh, that's locked. I thought that said we could go in there. I mean, I want to talk to everyone. I don't think this is going to be a real conversation. No, this guy's just... He's glitched. I found a glitch. I found the glitch of the game. Or it looked like we were dancing for a second. 
All right, uh, it doesn't tell me where the schoolhouse is other than just following this thing. Do we have stamina in this game? Or can you just sprint forever? Probably sprint forever. Hello, sorry to interrupt class. Um, oh, never mind. Okay, it doesn't look like that's a, doesn't look like there's much in here. Okay. What are you doing? Ready? Uh, okay, I guess we're gonna sit down. Rest. Looks like he's like blowing a kazoo or something. You hear that? We did the right thing. Charles was our friend. I love you, Red McCraith. But? But when it comes to ghosts, your heart makes you reckless. It's dangerous. Were you really about to banish Charles? Well, it wasn't Charles. Charles would have done the same. Uh, I'm going to say Charles would have done the same. Charles would have done the same for your ghost or mine. I hope he'd have at least hesitated. Charles was a good man. Full of love. Banishing his ghost wouldn't have been easy, but it would have been right. Ghosts only bring misery, Red. Make no mistake. They steal life's essence from the living. Aye. They don't always do it out of malice. If the that. As banishers, we bring closure. The dead have no business with the living. Well, let's do first one. We are banishers. We end suffering for those who live. Like it's our job. We bring closure to those who don't. A ghost may suffer too. A sin puts a gentler end to it. But not a safer one. Better to banish and be sure. Would you banish me? No. Oh. If it came to. You'll not escape me so easy. You I would bring back from the dead. I thought it was going to make me <sighs> That's choose. That's funny. I'd fill you with fresh essence. <laughs> I'd give you so much essence you'd return bloated with life. Steal essence from the living to feed my ghost. <laughs> you with me. <laughs> and then I'd kill you again. <laughs> I'd do anything for you. Is this supposed to be a joke? You're a scruffy-headed lout, Red McGrath, and I will never let you go. Over my dead body, mister. I thought I was meant to be the soft-hearted one. <laughs> you are. Do you think Charles was right? This thing in the meeting house could be a... What did he call it? A nightmare? Yep. I really hope not. It is. Such entities are legendary ghosts, even for banishers. I mean, if it was a normal ghost... It would be we'll see tomorrow. Now, to sleep. This was a dreadful day. Like, it has to be a nightmare. Because if it was a normal ghost, it wouldn't be this bad, right? With the curse and everything. I guess we're going to bed now. Poor Charles. Poor Esther. Yeah, that's what I was going to say. Poor Esther. She probably doesn't know what's going on right now. Oh. Are we dreaming right now? Because are we cursed, right? Because we're in the vicinity? I think we're dreaming. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Whoa. It's okay, Red. Oh, where's... Antea. Antea. She took her firebane. <laughs> she says I'm the reckless one. Oh, so now we're from Red's perspective. That's so cool. We we actually changed. Landfall, quest completed. Okay, so guys, I think I'm going to leave this one here. So far, immediate thoughts on the game. I'm loving it. It's definitely different compared to the normal stuff that I play. But I thought, you know, let's get out of our comfort zone and try out new games. Because the only way you're ever going to know if you like something is by trying it, right? If you don't go outside your comfort zone every once in a while in life, that comfort zone is going to shrink. And every obstacle you uh, pass or face in life, it's like, you know, a level up in life. But if you avoid facing your fears and, you know, just trying new things in life, you're probably going to, you know, beat yourself up for it. Because all we want in life is progress, right? And if you're progressing, then you're never depressed, you're happy, and you can't wait to see what life has to offer.
for you the next day. I swear I just saw a ghost fly by that window. You see that? Anyways, thanks for watching, everyone. Make sure you like and subscribe and send me a comment, and I will see you in the next one.